What is going on, Radar Force? Um, there's a new release out there, and I had no idea it was a release until one of my buddies told me about it. Uh, and yes, we know that the Steelbook for Dragon Ball Super came out, but Funimation, Crunchyroll, and Walmart got us again. Of course they got us again. They always do this bullcrap. I'm not saying I don't like these. I actually do uh, love the artwork. But again, with like the third or fourth release they made, Walmart made double packs. Oh, Walmart made double packs. They've done it with Kai, they've done it with Orange Bricks, they've done it with the GT. Uh, I'm pretty sure they've done it with something else. Um, they've done it with a lot of things. But here we are again with Dragon Ball Super Parts 1 and 2. Um, and they look amazing, don't get me wrong. Uh, these are only released in Blu-ray. And the, the individual cases inside are just the original Blu-rays. Nothing different. But the artwork is special on these, which is indeed sick. Um, the back here, this is Sparks 1 and 2. The back here, pretty sick. Um, spine 1 and 2. And of course, they didn't just release the one. They released parts 3 and 4. Artwork looks amazing. As per usual with these. Um, same disc inside. Um, as we saw earlier, parts three and four, and of course, parts five and six, Walmart only, cover looks amazing again, five and six on the spine, the back double season sets, and the same disc there, um, I didn't show the tops on the other one, but they're the same, five and six, and then the bottom is just a continuation of the art, you can't really see it. And then we have seven and eight. This artwork is pretty weird. The Goku's face is just odd, but still looks good. Uh, part seven and eight. It's fine here. Part seven and eight. The back, double seasons. The double season. Uh, and standard casing there, as per usual. And last but not least, of course, they finished the series, which is odd with Walmart actually finishing the series. They didn't finish it with Kai, so whatever. Uh, 9 and 10, parts 9 and 10. This cover is probably my favorite. I'm a sucker for Blue Evolution. Top, spine, same disc, 9 and 10. And the double season. Anyways, um, that's that's it for this. Uh, nothing to it. I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's common sense. It's just, just exclusive art box art. Nothing else exclusive about it. Um, the only thing I will note once I get these out... Uh, which I didn't actually pick up on except for my buddies. Um, if you notice in parts one and two, it's more red and it slowly gets to orange, which I didn't notice that until they pointed that out. But here we go, we have parts one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, double packs for Dragon Ball Super. It's basically, it's literally the same a Blu-ray version except in a double pack. But yeah, they slipped these out with the still book of Dragon Ball Super, collector's edition that just came out. I had no idea until I just saw them. Well, my buddy told me about them. And then I pre-ordered them. Well, not pre-ordered them. Just bought them off of Walmart.com. Uh, you better get them while you can because they're going to get rare. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, leave a comment below. And, of course, with tradition, last but not least, we have to put these on the shelf and finish our collection once again. So, take care. All right, here we go. Let's plop these on the shelf. And there you guys have them right beside the uh, Dragon Ball Super Blu-ray parts 1 through 10 at the double packs. And uh, there they are. And our collection is back up to complete. Which is super sick. Oh, I got some posters up now, which is pretty cool. And uh, here are my game collection figures. Limited edition games. And a PS2 kiosk, which I have yet to cover, which I'm going to do for the 600 subscriber special. And it is sick. That is it, guys. Take care. Peace out. Bam.